Ukraine has revealed details about the Russian army's high-speed boat destroyed in Crimea waters on Monday. The Ukrainian Special Service Agency identified the destroyed boat as the high-speed boat of the Mongoose series of Project 12150, stressing that the boat has been fully destroyed and cannot be restored. Produced in the 2000s, the boat was quite new and in a good condition prior to its destruction. Ukrainian scouts in Crimea destroyed the Russian high-speed boat of the Mongoose project on the night leading to May 6. The boat was shot by a Magura V-5 Marine drone in Azkaya Bay during the operation conducted by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. Information about the destruction of the boat and images of the operation were released by main intelligence directorate. The high-speed boat was used by the Russian fleet and special services as multi-purpose high-speed vessel. The Mongoose is designed for patrolling water areas, fighting saboteurs, and also for rescue operations. Its maximum speed is up to 98 km per hour, and its modified version is equipped with a 14.5mm combat machine gun module. On board are AGS-17 automatic grenade launchers, a DP-64 handheld grenade launcher and two IGLA or IVA-type man pads. The boat reaches up to 20m in length and up to 5m in width. Maximum speed is up to 50 knots. The estimated cost of the destroyed mongoose is about $3 million. It should be noted that although Russia confirmed the attack on the boats by naval drones, Kremlin reported that five drones were shot down and did not hit their targets. Russia will test NATO with hybrid attacks. Commander of Finnish Army. The Russian Federation may not directly attack NATO countries, but will continue hybrid attacks, such as signal jamming and interference in elections, stated the new commander of the Finnish Defense Forces, General Jan Jakola. Some officials, such as US President Joe Biden and Danish Defense Minister Trin Bramson, have expressed concerns that Russia's long-term plans may include an attack on NATO. Of course, testing the Article 5 is always possible, but if we take correct action and maintain unity, I consider an attack unlikely," said Jakola. In his opinion, Russia is currently too occupied with preparing for a new summer offensive in Ukraine to consider the possibility of attacking NATO. The point for the Russians is that they wish to cause as much division in Europe as possible so that our unity and cohesion is a bit weaker. The general noted, at the beginning of 2024, statements began to circulate in the media regarding Russia's preparations for an attack on NATO countries. Germany in particular is purportedly already preparing for such a scenario. The statements made in the media prompted reactions from several NATO countries. The Ministry of Defense of Lithuania stated that they do not see a threat of Russia attacking NATO countries as Moscow is fully focused on the war in Ukraine. Russia is preparing for a large-scale conventional conflict with NATO, according to the Institute for the Study of War, based on an analysis of several Russian financial, economic and military indicators. The think tank explains that while any such conflict won't happen imminently, Russia is likely planning on a shorter timeline than some Western analysts have previously posited. The Russian military is undertaking structural reforms to simultaneously support the war in Ukraine while expanding its conventional capabilities in preparation for a potential future conflict with NATO. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has outlined several outgoing efforts to bolster Russia's conventional military capabilities, claiming that the Russian military plans to form two combined arms armies and 14 divisions and 16 brigades by the end of 2024. <laughs> Давай, 
Открывается, открывается, сильнее. Они!